Hello all, welcome to part three of Apache POI API training series. In this session, I am going to list down and explain the different predefined classes of POI API that we have to use for handling the Excel files. So let's get started. You see, coming to the Excel files, there are two varieties. There is older version and latest version. If you have created an Excel file using the older MS Office software, older version of the MS Office software that is not being used nowadays, that file will be created with an extension known as XLS extension, XLS extension. But if you create these same Excel files using the latest version of MS Office that we are now using as per this years and all, current year 2022 I am when I'm recording this video, okay? The extension that will be created while creating the Excel file will be dot X L S X. An extra X will be there at the end. Okay. Older version XLS. Latest version XLS X. So this POI API supports both older version of Excel files and latest version of the Excel files by giving different predefined classes for older version and different predefined classes for the latest version of the Excel. Okay. So older Excel version has XLS extension. Latest Excel version has XLS X extension. Coming to the XLS, coming to the XLS guys, we have this predefined classes, okay, which are supported by Py API are provided by Py API to handle the Excel files. That is HSS workbook, okay, to represent the entire Excel file document. HSS workbook is a predefined class uh, given by Py API for handling the older versions of Excel files. HSS sheet. H S S F sheet. So in, in a workbook, I told you in the previous session, right? Workbook will contain sheets. For representing the sheets, we have to use this uh, predefined class. Uh, for uh, in, in a sheet, uh, there is some data, the data um, data containing the rows, okay? How many rows of data is there, okay? So if you want to represent a particular row of that particular data in a sheet, okay? That H S F uh, row is there, H S S F row is there, okay? This is also another predefined class, okay? Then in every row, it, the data may not be spread in only single cell, okay? Multiple cells, okay? First name, last name, experience, location, like multiple uh, cells can be there in every row that e each and every cell data, okay? Where the data is put in, okay? That each and every box in that Excel file is HSSF cell can be represented with the HSSF cell predefined class for the older version of Excel files that is XLS extension, okay? Coming to the latest version, they have XLS, X extension, and there is small difference between the naming of this uh, workbook uh, sheet, row, and cell, guys. Instead of H here, we have X here. X, SSF workbook. X, because extra X is there, right? That's the reason X is coming here. X, SSF sheet. X, SSF row. X, SSF cell, okay? These are the different predefined classes in Py API, which will, which are provided by Py API to support the handling of the Excel files, that is workbook, sheet, row, and cells, okay? Using all these predefined classes, we are going to program in the upcoming sessions, especially the next one, if you can see, reading the data from the Excel files. How can this be possible? Without these predefined classes, it's not possible, guys, okay? So we'll see that practically in the next session, anyhow, okay? So hope, guys, you understood uh, the different uh, predefined classes of Py API, okay? That we, are gender we, that we are going to use for handling the Excel files, okay? That is a workbook sheet, row and cell related predefined classes. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another Apache Py API training uh, session for you or topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.